Welcome to Robitech. Today, uh, we're building a 3080 system sponsored by EVGA, NZXT, and of course, the fine folks at Newegg. Let's talk about what's in this build today. Starting with our CPU, we're gonna throw in a i9-10900K. For the motherboard, we're using a brand new board because this build is sponsored by NZXT, and that is the new NZXT N7 Z490 board. Uh, this is their all black one. A very attractive board for the GPU. We're finally using one of the big boys. That's right, guys. We're using the, G the EVGA 3080 RTX FTW3. Pretty excited about this. For uh, SSDs, for M.2s, uh, SSDs, we're using Western Digital Black. We're using a 500 gig and a one terabyte. 500 gig is our S drive. One terabyte is our game drive. For RAM, G-Skill Tri-Z, this is 3200 megahertz versus 3600 megahertz. Uh, it's gonna look very nice. It's kind of all black with just a little bit of silver, which I think is gonna look good with the build. For cool Cooling. Well, just because we got we got to go all out, if we're going to use their Z490, we might as well use their high-end uh, coolers. So we're using the Kraken NZ, the NZXT Kraken Z73. We're using our Asia Horse. We got black cables. So we're going to be using Asia Horse black cables, and I think that is it. I think that's our build. Oh, and then case we're using the H710i. Now the H710i just means we have RGB strips at the top. We're not adding a ton of RGB. We're going to have white light that'll basically highlight the black on the inside, and then all lighting inside will be white. So it'll be uh, the including the EVGA stuff. So it should be just a black and white build. I'm gonna go and grab the motherboard so we can actually get start building. This is the NZXT Z490, N7 Z490. Uh, this is an LGA 1200 in terms of the socket. So that's what we have right here. Uh, we've got four dims that got, obviously we support dual channel. So there's uh, A and B and then A and B for channel one and A and B for channel two. Over here, we have our EATX uh, power connector. So this is uh, what we're gonna power the board with. And then we've got USB-C, which is nice to see on, uh, on their motherboard. Um, over here, we've got one, two, a one by, eight, uh, one by 16 and one by eight PCIe. And then we've got three by one. We've got an onboard uh, power and reset button, which is super nice. Uh, here's our front panel connectors. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, no, we have seven fan hunters. We've got three USB. Wow, that's crazy. Three USB two. We've got a uh, 12 volt and an addressable RGB. We've got uh, the front audio. And then up here at the top, these are just for NZXT um, RGB stuff. We've got a uh, eight pin and a four pin EPS connector. And then again, we've got two more, the CPU and AIO pump uh, fan headers are up here. Let us start installing our components. What do you guys say? Who's ready to start building? Okay, so let's grab our 10900K, pop that out, just like that. Uh, try and hold it from the side. There's a little gold arrow in the bottom left that aligns with the little arrow here. You also have little nubs on each side. So when you're gonna pop it in, it just goes in kind of one way. Drop it in like that, just make sure it's in, and then you're gonna pop it down. And then when you push this down, this little black plate's gonna pop off and unleash the power. Just like that, boom. boom. We've unleashed the power. So let's grab our RAM right here. There's a little slot right here, um, which is basically, uh, you're just gonna line it up like so. Oh, let's make sure we open it all up like that. And then you're just gonna pop that in just like this. Go. You know what we didn't do, guys? We didn't read a dad joke. We gotta get our dad joke up in here. I like telling cheesy jokes, but everyone around me is lactose intolerant. <laughs> Go and open up our Western Digital Blacks. Let's get this in here. These are these would actually look pretty good uncovered too. we're going to put on our bracket for our AIL. I'm gonna grab this bad boy right here. There we go. And we're gonna screw these in and then we're, our bracket's done and we can put in our AIL. Now let's add some thermal paste. There we go. There we go, thermal paste applied. The motherboard is basically ready to go into our case. Big old case. Ugh. Okay, so this is our H710 Elite case. The H710 has uh, LED strips on the top and on the back, so we get a little bit of white LED light from here in the back, which will look nice. Time to drink some more ice and prepare. 
Oh. I enjoy top mounted AIOs more than I even want front mounted. So we shall do that. And then we already have our fans installed. So that'll be fun. Fun adventure, guys. We're gonna do a fun adventure. Who's ready for a fun adventure? Ugh. Get this out of the side like this. So I like, I will say, I like this little system that they have created here. Look at that, it's so nice. And you still, you have so much clearance at the top. Now let's go ahead and mount our AIO in. That looks really nice, actually. Okay, so let's grab our cables. Your CPU uh, fan header is in a weird spot on this board. It's usually over here in the corner, but in this board, it's actually up here at the top, so. Okay, CPU header. I'm gonna use it in the CPU fan spot. Okay, I'm gonna run these up and over. Let's do our front panel connectors, hook up our AIO on the other side. And then uh, we'll go from there. Hook up our fans. There's one, there's two, and three. Okay, so there's our fans. Okay, so here's all of our extra cables. So first one, this is our front panel connector, which is nice on NZXT. It's just one giant connector, so that's gonna go right here. Um, we have some extra fan headers down here if we needed them. Um, this is our USB 3, which uh, has that special entry on the side, so we'll have to see if we can get that in there. That's, it's kind of at a weird angle here, so we'll have to figure that out. Um, this is HD, HD audio, so that goes in the far right over here. This is our USB, that goes right here. And then this is USB-C, which we'll have to give a little bit of room because this is also over here. So we'll pull this out a little bit. Yeah, that's gonna go in here. Okay, that is all hooked up and ready to go now. We have our USB-C. This is our USB 3.2. That's our front panel connector. Uh, further over, this is, uh, that's the AIO USB. This is the USB for, I don't know, something in the case. I don't know, actually it's probably the cam. There's probably a hub, USB hub. And then over here we have our HD audio. That's all there is in terms of cables. Next step, we're going to install our GPU. There it is, the For The Win 3 EVGA. Okay, there's our card, look at that bad boy. That is a thick boy, and this all lights up. So that's gonna be cool. So we're gonna undo this bad boy. Okay, now let's grab our beautiful, very big GPU. Yeah, that's gonna fill, oh, it's only two slots, oh. I thought it was a three stock card. No, it's wrong. That fills up the whole thing, guys. That is a big, big honking car. <laughs> it's just like a, a big square. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's in. Okay, power supply. And then we're done, boys and girls. Okay, so first cable we need, this is our motherboard cable. This is for powering our uh, motherboard. That one goes right here. There we go. And right there. Okay, motherboard is hooked up. Um, now what we're doing is we're looking for this is a CPU, so we have, you'll know the CPU because this is the side that goes in the CPU because it's split. This one says it's actually labeled PSU, so we'll need two of those. There's one. This is our other CPU, again, split. So we're gonna plug this in right here. Now what we're gonna do is these are all VGA. 
we're gonna be using all, we're gonna be using them all individually. So we're gonna put all four of these, all three of these in. So maximum VGA awesomeness. There's one, there's two, lots of cable, like maximum PSU power out of this one. And there is three. So maximum PSU power out of there. And then finally, we've got two SATA. These are for uh, powering our peripherals. Uh, if we had hard drives, we'd use those two. We're gonna plug two of those in. So we're only not using like one cable, I think. Two cables, two of them. Okay, there we go. So all of our cobblers are in. So what we're gonna do is pull this through. Lots of cobblers, so many cobblers. Pull it all the way to the front, like that. Then we have little thumb screws. CPU one, and there is CPU two. Okay, CPUs are hooked up. This one is gonna go plug in and power that. We have one more, that one's gonna plug in and power this one. That's our pump. And just like that, we're ready to go there. There's one, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're gonna throw our other pieces on real quick. Okay, that's in, that's in, that's in, and I hear stuff, I see stuff, I smell stuff. It is on. Okay guys, well, that is it for the night. I super appreciate all of you guys hanging out. Have a great night. Bye.